is the ASUS ZenBook Duo 14, and it was just announced with CES 2021. Now, I've had it for about two weeks now, and I've got to say, this might just be my favourite ZenBook by far. And yes, I know it's just the start of the year, but I'm going to go with that. Now, the whole reason that this laptop has duo in its name is evident. Lift the lid up and you're greeted with not one, but two displays. Obviously, it goes without saying that the concept isn't anything new. This model is a revision of the previous ZenBook Duo 14, which has been out in the market for months now. But with this second revision, ASUS has taken a newer hinge design from their ROG Zephyrus Duo, made it much more compact and it's now here in the ZenBook Duo 14. As you lift the lid up, you will see that the second display props up at an angle, which makes for a far more ergonomic and enjoyable experience compared to the flat display of the previous model. The second display still sports the same 12.6 inch IPS panel with a maximum resolution of 1920 by 515, which is basically equivalent to a half height full HD resolution. What has been improved, however, is the higher max brightness, in which it can now reach about 400 nits. As for usage, Windows pretty much treats it like an additional display, so it's kind of like having two monitors on your desktop. So just like having another monitor, you're free to use it however you would like. But ASUS has been gathering quite a lot of feedback from users of the previous model, and they've actually improved the software, now called Screen Expert 2. The first is a new multitasking overview where you can view all your open applications at once, and you can just simply drag and drop which application you would like to be on the main display or the secondary display. Next, you also get a slightly revised app drawer where you can pin your favourite apps for quick access, but also a much more improved task group function, where you can see all four of your task groups at a glance. But more so than that, you can also easily customize each task group with a few presets available, such as split screen on the main display with three-way split on the secondary display, or go quad windows on the main display with offset split screen on the secondary display. But what's really most interesting has got to be the new control panel function. This is a fully customizable app aimed to help bolster creative workflows. You can mix and match four types of controls, DAO, button, slider, and scroll. Place them however you like, and you can program them to basically any individual function within your creative program of choice. For example, in Premiere Pro, I have a scroll for volume control, a dial for timeline zoom, buttons for individual actions such as mark clip or open project, and much more. It's honestly really interesting because it's kind of like having a physical mixer or panel in front of you. At the moment, the support for apps is a little limited, with only a few Adobe apps, but ASUS is working with the developers and more apps should be compatible in the future. Now, if you can't yet tell, I'm definitely more of a desktop kind of guy, but if the ZenBook Duo 14 is my only laptop, be it at home or at work, I can definitely appreciate the implementation of this control panel function, and I can see myself using it. It looks really promising. But of course, the secondary display is not what you're going to be looking at all the time. The main display is beautiful as well. It's a 14-inch IPS panel with a full HD resolution that can get up to about 400 nits in brightness. It does also cover 100% sRGB and is Pantone validated. Just like the secondary display, it also supports touch and the stylus as well. I don't have any qualms about the display at all. It looks great, really vibrant colours, and I pretty much enjoyed using it, be it for light browsing or just YouTube one after another. Now of course, you do get a webcam up top as it should be. I would say that image quality is not too bad though of course it will suffer in low light condition just like any other webcam, but microphones on the other hand actually sound pretty decent, I would say it's above average. In any case, if you just need a webcam, this works. And of course, it also does support facial recognition with Windows Hello, so that's a nice touch. Now as for the keyboard and trackpad, I'm not a fan of it, but that's just because of the design. Because of the second display, ASUS basically had to push the keyboard and trackpad down to the edge. If you have space on your desk, it is actually a really great typing experience. But that's the thing, you need space. If you use this laptop on your lap or a desk with limited depth, it definitely doesn't feel as great. 
Now, unlike the previous model, Asus does not include the wrist rest with the laptop any longer. Instead, it now comes with a laptop stand of sorts. It kind of works, but honestly, I'm not too sure about it. Personally, I don't use it at all. As for the trackpad, it feels the same no matter where you use it. It feels alright, it's just small. Speakers on the other hand got quite a huge upgrade. It can get much louder than before and it does still sound really clean yet powerful and max volume. It is a solid set of speakers. As for ports, you do get a full-size HDMI, two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports, a standard USB 3.2, a headphone mic combo jack and a micro SD card reader. We now come into specs, and there are quite a few options available for the ASUS ZenBook Duo 14, so do take note. Our model comes equipped with an Intel Core i7-1165 G7, 32GB of RAM and a 1TB NVMe SSD. In Cinebench R20, the 28W variant of the Core i7 managed roughly 2000 for the multi-thread and about 540 in the single thread. As for DaVinci Resolve, it managed to render the 10-minute 1080p edit in exactly 20 minutes and the 15-minute 4K edit in just under 40 minutes. Now is that good or bad? Here's the result in comparison to the AMD Ryzen 4800U that we've tested before on the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 7. In short, when Intel first unveiled Tiger Lake and showed direct comparisons with AMD, there is some truth to that. Not to mention that even with such great performance, the thermals were really impressive as well, mostly hovering around the mid 60s for creative workloads and just about 70 to 80 or so when gaming. This is also thanks in part to the hinge design, which allows the fan to draw air not just from the bottom but the top as well. Speaking of which, despite having just integrated Intel Iris XE graphics, it does offer quite a pleasant entry-level gaming experience, with most games at least getting 30 frames per second with decent settings. So that was a look at the ASUS ZenBook Duo 14. Honestly, besides my qualms about the keyboard and trackpad, which is basically just a preference, it is a really solid laptop. Now, I personally don't need two displays in a laptop, but when it's well implemented along with arguably useful software, especially in this line of work, I don't particularly mind having that secondary display. Not to mention that the colour of the ZenBook Duo 14 is pretty exquisite and you get all of this in a package that weighs just about 1.6 kilograms. I can definitely see myself using the ZenBook Duo 14 as my daily driver and that is why I would say that this is probably my favourite ZenBook by far. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments section down below. If there's an affiliate link in the description, do check it out and if you do, Thanks for the support. Don't forget to subscribe to us, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Till the next one. See ya!